Yep, yeah, here we are, one more time. This is Monday, March 20th, 9.25 a.m. Central Standard Time. Okay. Got one more week till the seminar at the Capitol. <clears throat> Seems to be some kind of hazardous weather outlook. It's probably air quality. <laughs> Okay, the thunderstorms will occur this morning east of Illinois. Friday. <clears throat> okay, so spot activation is uh, necessary in Illinois. In the AM hours of today, let's go ahead and look at the. Uh, remember, we don't do a seven-day or a ten-day outlook. We usually just do the twenty-four to forty-eight hour one. They're going to be ballsy and try to do Friday. Nice try. Get this handled today. <clears throat> we got a cold front moving in, okay. So we got two days of cold front. Alright, let's go to the emergency brief download here. Of course, the radar shows no uh, cloud cover as usual. Of course, there's plenty of a uh, no cloud cover, but there's plenty of a weather modification uh, activity going on. <laughs> However, thunderstorms are in the forecast. That's it. Okay. Let's go to the. Uh, no, let's go to the earthquake briefing page. And I did work on the uh, the air and the water report last night the area and the EPA did confirm that yes it is polluted and it's on the hot sheet so thanks to all the commercial activity and the tourists from St. Louis and our other parts of known okay there's no earthquake activity yet none well, that's good showing no earthquake activity for the area for the week oh there it is all right update just need to get the regional shot here. Let's see what you guys are the latest and the greatest. Mexico, California, California. Oh, that's nothing new. Y'all should expect that. Uh, Kentucky, Kentucky. All those boneheads looking for salt licks. Okay, it's not showing anything local other than Kentucky. You know, all those toothless, uh, all those toothless Americans looking for uh, the next chicken bone to choke on. Okay, so let's go ahead and clear this off. All right, well, one more time, I'll go back to that page. So that's the activity. Let's see if we clustered it. Yeah, we did. Okay. Let's see if we can cluster it. Give me some accuracy here. Yep, the usual spot. The Madrid. So we have activity still in the Madrid, and we have the, uh, we have those, uh, you know, those petroleum hungry cattle wrestlers out there in Oklahoma. Drill in Oklahoma reservation up like a horn heat, so <laughs> and then we have people here, um uh, anyhow. So we got really no indiscretion or whatever until they're saying till Friday, but that's in the future. So this is what we got going on right now, currently. So nothing to write home about except for earthquake activity. Let's see. Using this service, we can get a terrain 
a terrain shot. This is the area that's polluted, and uh, if you look on the map here, you can even see where they've been doing the chemtrails and killed off all the grass and, you know, all in the name of games. They like to play games and stuff around here. They're a bunch of players from Maryland or something. Now, if you uh, expand the map a little bit, the terrain map, you'll be able to see the actual uh, agriculture. And if you look between St. Louis to Kansas City, it's nothing but a big bald spot. All these so-called bright idea people coming down here are going to try to straighten up all this stuff. From Chicago or Des Moines or something. The demons. <laughs> anyway. So, uh, what I'll go ahead and do is I'll post the, uh, new information that I got from the EPA, giving the air and water, air and water soil, uh, survey result back for the area, saying it contains lead, aluminum, barium, strontium, and high amounts of pharmaceuticals in the water. <laughs> Medical crap. So we have air pollution, we have the ambient air quality, that's what they call that, ambient air quality. And your water is actually listed as polluted by the EPA, it's on the list, and uh, oh yeah, give you the updated map. Thanks to all the civilians and their Pepsi, PepsiCo's, actually one of the major polluters. <sighs> Pepsi and what was the other one? Walmart? <laughs> so that would be Stanley Kroenke's uh, wonderful property management plan. He's a one of the major polluters. I think they play, they say they pay like 1.2 million a year in fines. But they don't clean the crap up, they just pay the fine. Okay, so they're not stopping the pollution, they're just paying the fine. They're not even from here. We don't even want them here. They're not native. <laughs> okay, anyhow, so let me go ahead and post the uh, briefing for the uh, EPA warning. So you can find that at the actual EPA site, Environmental Protection Agency. I have the map for Missouri. Let's see, EPA.gov. There you go. And no, they're not actually a part of the uh, presidential cabinet. Okay, so U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. Let's see if I can get their map up here. They were nice enough to send me a map. Uh, where is it? Uh, oh yeah, they posted all that. They got done posting it on Wikipedia. Okay, so go to the Wikipedia page. Maybe we can find it. Uh, people like me and you who aren't a bunch of you know, geeks. Okay, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, let's go to the map here. So they're not a member of the cabinet, but see, they're only going by federally recognized tribes. <laughs> they don't recognize my family as a native tribe here, even though we were the first ones here. <laughs> Here's the map, though. They were nice enough to send us a map. Because they're supposed to give us our land back and they haven't done it yet. Because they're a bunch of liars. It's typical for Americans. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, there's the map they sent us. Let's go to that. So that Missouri. What do they call it? They have regions or zones. EPA Region 7, there we go, the Midwest, 
Missouri. There we go. Nine tribal nations. Of course, my family's not in it. <laughs> okay, so we have Missouri. ETA in the Missouri section. Okay. Mark Twain was a liar. Be careful following people who have pen names. If you don't use your real name, something must be wrong with you. Alright. Uh, where's the maps? There we go. Let's go to the... Uh, oh, here we go. That's what I was looking at. The ambient air quality where they're doing the uh, aerosol injection. The modification programs. Monsanto, of course. Thank you for the MU. Flying tigers. <laughs> All you motherfuckers like to wear cat shit on your jersey in your car. Alright. Let's see, find local informals. That's not what I was looking for. View map of current air quality. There we go, so it's blank. Of course, it's a reservation. <laughs> That's not the map I got, but a uh, nice try. The natives tell you that your ambient air quality is crap. Okay, so we have... We have wastewater. So we have air quality, wastewater. That's one of our main concerns is the water. Because they didn't say my water supplies are polluted. I can't use the water. And then the municipal water is actually three times worse. <laughs> So that's why we have a boil ordinance. Boil your water. I don't give a shit if it came from a tap. <laughs> it's still it's worse. Okay, so let's see here. Water quality standards, wetlands are clean. Uh, there we go. Drinking water and groundwater. Put the landfill at the water at the top of the watershed. So now they're drinking landfill water. <laughs> so I have to boil my water every time I drink it. Mercury. Let's see what else they said they found in it. They found a bunch of crap in it. That wasn't good for you. But mercury is actually one of them. batteries. <laughs> so basically, making it in travel portal laws and regulations. Uh, even though we're part of the tribe, they don't recognize us as native. Maybe one of these days we'll figure it out. I did have a good map. Let me go and see if I can find it. Uh, make a long story short here. Right? And the program they're doing is called Stratospheric Aerosol Injection. And it is an actual enacted program with the Air Force and uh, Boeing. <sighs> and it's flying from St. Louis and the university's in on it, of course. Monsanto, the evil that is. And the Celtic Tiger is what we call it. So here's the map. Make a long story short, I got. And uh, notice the area we're in. And uh, that's where they're doing the uh, weather modification program, spraying uh, sulfur dioxide, which is metallic chalk, into the air. And some of it has acrylic. When they mix it with the jet fuel, it becomes an acrylic. 
like styrofoam. You spray it in the air. <laughs> so here's the map that shows the region. If you can see it right here. Uh, the orange, the blue, and then that yellow. So if you're looking at orange and yellow, you're looking at uh, actual lead in the air and mercury and some other stuff. So that's what, they, uh, that's what they're spraying to your lovely Air Force, known as the police department. So that's the area to avoid if you're using water or the air, if you're traveling and doing foraging for first response or any ministerial service with the constable area. So if you're actually doing search and rescue. So there's the map. I got this from Wikipedia. They were nice enough to post it. It's just continent wide that was are traveling. So that's where we're at. So you're looking at any of the uh, St. Louis metropolis area, Kansas metropolis, and that's where they used to have the mining and manufacturing uh, area in Rolla, basically the slave area, <laughs> all the places that were prone to having slaves, they're still doing it. Slave labor, also known as prisons. Alright, so anyhow, these are all the hot spots to avoid. Uh, if you look on the map of commerce for the state of Missouri, that's the, uh, those are commercial areas, so just avoid those places. That's the travel advisory that I have. But, uh, <clears throat> they're pretty much stupid. It is as stupid does, right? <clears throat> Mining manufacturing on a fault line, polluting the water, and uh, doing all kinds of uh, experimental air. Uh, weather modification programs right over top of us, <laughs> GMOs. So basically it's your medical community and all those quacks called uh, civilians piled higher and deeper. So uh, I don't know how they get away with it. I think the sheriff's probably in on it. But you have the, uh, the three main bad boys where we're at is the uh, EPA did come down and said that the uh, and they gave us a report. So the soil, the water, and the air right through here is actually top five in the country. Worse. <laughs> so you're in the top five. There you go. Thanks to all the scientific community from a Medical American Association, or whatever you want to call them, from Maryland. You know, the people with the Social Security numbers and their civil privileges. All right, so let's see. Yeah, I'll post the map for that. So I'm going to put together a uh, three-piece skin that shows the, our area, our region, and uh, present it to at the seminar the 28th at the Capitol. <sighs> yeah, y'all remember that, right? I'm not the only one going to be there. Okay, so if you need any inform information, I have it posted on uh, for the... We went ahead and put proposed to put some of it on Wikipedia so we can all access it. It seems to be pretty quick. So let's go ahead and put um, stratospheric aerosol injection is what they're actually doing, but to make a long story short, it's just air pollution. They're trying to block the sun because <laughs> they can't stand the heat because they're a bunch of wimps. Aerosol injection. Okay. Oh my god, we can't stand the sun, oh. We're gonna melt. There it is. Okay, so it's stratospheric aerosol. Um, they even have a satellite that actually can uh, pinpoint the ozone and aerosols and the stratosphere. And so there's a map. <laughs> and then you'll see them actually flying over and trying to uh, block the sun, which is called a Earth uh, radiation um, control something other. <laughs> 
It's a bunch of big nerdy words. <sighs> Makes my brain hurt. So, you have a bunch of these Peabodies <laughs> running around with aircraft. So just beware when they spray. It isn't actually air quality alert. It pollutes the water and it flashes the plants out in the soil. That's why we have a, a burn ban through here because all the plants are dead. It dries up the area where it won't rain. That's the actual negative, uh, that's the negative, what they call a side effect. It won't rain. <laughs> Dries up the area. So that's why we have an actual burn ban. If you see the map we had yesterday for the burn ban, which is the exact same area that they're spraying over with the aircraft. So your ambient air quality, uh, that's what they call it. And that map is what I got that from. And then I have a water and a soil map from the EPA that Cronky and them actually have to, but pff, he don't care. They're building more shit. They don't give a crap. That's why they donated the land <laughs> over to the state, and the state's going to hand it over to some kind of remediation program. So you lost your land. So if you're a native here, you lost another 800 acres to Pepsi and the Celtic Tiger. <laughs> So, anyway, that's what you look it up for if you're uh, needing more information on that so you can take uh, appropriate action and uh, present your proposals and uh, lawsuits at the Capitol like everybody else does. Just get the police. They're, on, they're in on it. That's where they get their money from. They just got audited. And it's like, oh, you guys make your income from the actual major polluters. Thanks. You work for the American Medical Association of PepsiCo, so you guys get paid by Pepsi. <laughs> That's not the government, so there you go. AMA is not the government. Policy is not law, so don't fall for the uh, don't fall for the lie. Anyhow, so you can use two satellite images um, if you need to use that, but you can kind of use your own natural ability. Look around, you'll see it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we have that ambient air quality alert, the water uh, testing results from the EPA, and yes, they said it was worse. The city water is actually worse. <laughs> They're basically in the top two. Um, that's pretty much it. So we have three uh, three water and soil remediation program proposals. <clears throat> because the major polluters are actually commerce and tourism, so which we didn't want. <laughs> we didn't want that here. But uh, they think it's good for business. So we have two uh, remediation uh, proposals on the table. One's dealing with fungi, <laughs> using, uh, utilizing actually fungi, big buoys of fungi that actually eat the uh, bacteria and turn the uh, polluted water into a uh, useful and friendly byproduct. So I have the uh, actual research and report for that. It's actually from the the Swiss. You know our Swedish our Swedish friends um, and the Cancer Institute. Swedish Cancer Institute and the uh, Mycological Foundation in uh, Oregon and Washington. So they're going to help us out with that, supposedly. But Monsanto is blocking it. They're blocking all of our efforts to do that because they want to sci do some kind of scientific program. We want to use uh, natural agriculture. They want to use some kind of scientific crap because they're trying to hide their uh, they're trying to hide their nuclear program and all their other junk that they got here. Basically, they're just not trying to hide their crap. We're trying to fix the problem. They want to hide their shit in the dark. So, uh, yeah, anyway, there's the information on the remediation program. So if y'all want to come down to the seminar and hear that, this is going to be at the Capitol. Uh, we're not going to do it here. He refuses to come down here and talk to any, any of the Monsanto cronies, Cronkies cronies of Monsanto. So we're going to have to have some kind of other EPA work around because they're not going to talk to each other. I don't blame them. They're a bunch of crooks. <laughs> Murderers and crooks. That's all.
all they are. Wicked witchcraft. But uh, yeah, so there's the proposals. So you have the ambient air quality, the water, and then that's the soil. So those are the three major reports that we needed for the area. And if you go down there to actually look around, they're going to arrest you for trespassing. Because they said they own the waterway. Of course, the Constitution of the state of Missouri says the waterway is open and free for nat native use. And they have it trespassed. They have it blocked off. So you'll get arrested for trespassing if you use the waterway. So if y'all go down there trying to take water samples or soil samples, they will arrest you. <laughs> and by the way, it's the queen's daughters, the king's daughters, excuse me. That little group down there. But uh, anyhow, my long story short, that's pretty much all I got for yesterday and today. 23 hours of poking around. <sighs> See y'all. Probably I'll actually post another brief in the morning at 9 a.m. But uh, yeah, we did do that. Let's see here. Yeah, stratosphere aerosol injection. And it says it's global dimming. I call it global dumb, globally dumbing down the planet. Global dumbing. But we just call it global dimming. That's on their uh, scientific uh, seminar research papers. Their white papers is what they sent us. Because they had to. Because we were going to sue them. We are going to throw them in prison or shoot their planes down. <laughs> with the military. Let's see what we have here. Global dimming. So all you, uh, you know, Celtic tigers. That's what they call them, the flying tigers. <laughs> you know those people with the tight pants, the cigarette, and the twitchy mustache. There we go. Here's actually what they posted on. So you can get your white, the white papers from this actual posting on the internet at this website right here. This actual link. See, but they keep saying it's sulfur, uh, sulfur dioxide, which is acid rain. Well, that's natural from volcanoes, but not when it's mixed with acetone and foam and plastics and crap and acrylics and it's just bad for the area. Anyhow, there's the. Uh, let's see if I can find the white paper on it. Here's the link to the white paper. Oh, there it is. Okay. So when you wake up every day and you look up and you see all those little trails, those aren't, they call them contrails, but that's condensation, but it's not condensation that they're doing over this area. <clears throat> it's actually listed as a stratospheric aerosol injection. Hopefully I spelt that right. It's a bunch of nerds <laughs> with aircraft. But we're uh, customarily we used to call it contrails, which is just the condensation of the vapor from the, the vapor from the actual aircraft. But uh, that's not what they're doing. So anyhow, there's the... Uh, white paper for it. There's the areas or there the maps. And if you see it and they're spraying a lot of it, yes, it will actually, it causes uh, asthma. It causes asthma and uh, can kill you because you can't breathe. So here's a list of the containments and this is where the area is. So just keep that in mind if you live somewhere where they're actually performing this stupid stuff. So but it, yeah, it is actually, they're actually doing it. It's not a uh, conspiracy. <laughs> They'll even tell you when you go to the air show what they're doing. So there it is. There's pretty much your uh, main page, your white paper. There's all the information. And uh, I've got it compiled, so if you want it, I can send it to you in a PDF once I get done with uh, putting all the skins together for the hot spots for the area. So supposedly it's Boeing and and uh, Boeing's in on it, and uh, there's another aircraft company. 
but it's all that stuff like Top Gun, Tomcats, whatever the cats, the flying cats. <laughs> they love that crap. That's what I keep telling everybody. They love that crap. The Air Force. You know, the people that smoke cigarettes and fly planes and, you know, kill each other. And those dummies. You know, NASA need another seven astronauts. Those guys. Anyhow. So, we've compiled some skin maps of the uh, layered maps of the area. And I'll have to put something together a little bit better. But uh, we're trying to pin down people responsible we yanked their uh we pulled their funding in 2011 but they're still doing it i don't know how who's paying them <laughs> maybe they're doing it on a credit card like everybody else around here but uh, in 2011 we yanked their stuff the faa even pulled their stuff i don't know why they're still doing it 2011 that was the uh, when we pulled their contracts and said we're no longer going to fund any of your uh i think it was your nasa was actually Pulled their funding too, so no more, uh, no more ner flying nerd boys. Okay, so anyway, in 2011, their funding was yanked. So in case y'all don't know that, but if you have somebody flying over your house, spraying your, uh, you know, your land with toxic crap, killing everybody and the trees and animals and suffocating the whole damn population would you be inclined to maybe shoot the plane down <laughs> would you think that was terrorism biological warfare or some sort you know something sure you'd be uh you can be alarmed and concerned they're poisoning your <laughs> poisoning your family destroying your water supply tearing up the place they're called liberal artists and political scientists that's what they do Anyhow, there it is. That's pretty much all I got for the brief for the day. So, if you have any more information, just go ahead. Or need any more questions answered, you can email me at Dr. Glenn W. M. Smith at Gmail. Um, I'll be probably giving the a seminar at the Capitol the 26th to the 28th. On the front steps, as usual. Remember, we're Republicans. We're not Democrats. So I'll be on the front steps outside, as usual. That way everybody can see me. I won't be riding a magic carpet. <laughs> I'll be probably the only one who walked there. There you go. That's the brief for the day.